the other day, so the other day, uh, I came across a word uh, that only lawyers and preachers use. And the word is consummate, as in consummate the marriage, you know. Uh, you know, if someone gets in trouble, you know, the, the kids get married, they run off, get married, the father goes to the lawyer, the first question the lawyer says, have they consummated the marriage? Has it been consummated? You know, if you're a lawyer asking me that question, I'm pretty sure you're just not quite smart enough to be my attorney. No, no, no. They just, no, they got married and no, they didn't consummate it. No, they got married and went down the pool hall and shot some stick. Yeah. What do you think, you know? I mean, <laughs> you know, and, uh, and really, uh, only lawyers and preachers use that word. You know, regular folks really don't. Uh, I mean, if, if you go down to the tavern, you are not going to hear, Hey, Vinny, how you doing, eh? Hey, listen, uh, Joey and I were talking, uh, we heard that you've been dating Heather for two months now, eh? You know what I'm talking, eh? So we were wondering, did you cancel me? <laughs> I'm kind of thinking, they're using a different word. <laughs> you know? And it almost sounds religious, doesn't it? Consummation. Sounds so sweet, doesn't it? Consummation. Uh, hey, Fred, hey, listen, uh, uh, where, is, uh, where is Debbie and Tom's uh, consummation? I wonder if it's at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Uh, no, and uh, uh, I don't think you're invited, so don't buy a new dress for this. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be a private ceremony at the Red Wolf Inn around midnight. <laughs> and if we're really, really lucky, there will be no photographer. <laughs> hey, thanks everyone. You've been great.